How's it going, bud? Doing great, buddy. Doing great. Hey, guys, what's up? It's your favorite folks here at Dr. Fishing. Favorite folks. So since we have some beautiful, beautiful Texas weather outside, which is rain and gale warnings, yep. we're going to do some rod and reel reviews now. Some, most of these rods are from Christmas. Santa Claus is pretty good to us, and one of them, two of the reels we've had for a little while, and then one of the rods he recently got at Houston Boat Show. So this video is, the video is going to be long because we'd rather tell you everything that we think about these rod and reels than try to shorten it up and not give you any good information. So we're just going to tell you everything. I mean, everything we think of these rod and reels, so, and if you want to skip to see one certain reel, one certain rod, in the description, I'm putting the, the time in the video yeah. where you can skip to it. So, because we have five rod and reels to do. So, no further ado, get started, bud. All right. All right. Just, uh, let me get my nose real quick. All right, guys, I'm going to start off with uh, the one that I got for Christmas from my mom. It's a Lou's Mach 1. And... I'm going to tell you one thing. I wanted the Mach 2 because it's just the updated version of this, but that those rods right there, they sold out so quick. And all they had was a spinning reel. I'm not a big spinning reel person, but I got this, used it in Freeport, Port O'Connor and everything. I slung lures with it and bait. The rod that it comes with, I think it's more of a redfish rod, or it's definitely more of a bass rod than Got anything. Heavy. Yeah, it's a heavy rod, but well, it is medium heavy. Yeah, yeah. six ten. Yeah, six ten medium heavy. Yeah. But this reel right here, guys, alone is one hundred nineteen dollars, and you just can't beat it. That's the line inside of it ticking. So if you're thinking something's wrong with it, there's <laughs> the <gears>. not. It's <laughs> the gears are grinding. <laughs> no, it's the line because I don't take my line down. But I love it to death. It was like I think I got it for like. 129 or 139 i'm don't hold me on that but i think that's what it was but like all those reels i never have anything to complain about and then second one lose laser lz lz lrz or something LRZ. yeah it's, it's a walmart one walmart lose it's like 64 bucks but it's sitting on the rod that i got at the houston boat show which is a hook spit ricochet it's 80 dollar rod it and is. It's, it's sweet. Let's see, it's medium light, six seven. Yep, medium light, six seven. Right. Eight dollars. So spit rods are made right down here in Lee City, Texas. Definitely a good trout rod. I know a lot of people work there. I actually know the owner. If I'm not mistaken, his name is Jason, and very good guy. And everything they make is right. good. I mean, eighty dollars. This rod right here is. It's almost up there with the Waterloo Phantom. It's a nice rod. It's but really, it's really good. The reel, y'all seen in past videos. I use this reel all the time. You've had that for like, what, two? I've had this for about two years now, two years. this reel. It is, I will not, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it's slowly on its way out because I can kind of feel it and everything, and I've taken it apart, and there is some stuff that's just worn out. That's expected whenever you fish as much as me and this kid. But it's lasted a lot longer than some of the more expensive Shimano's that I've used before. But don't forget him. That's his brother. But I love it to death. Definitely a good reel. I'd pick, I'd pick up another one, but like I said, hook spit rod, just lose reel. Not a bad combo. But 13 Concept Texas Edition will be coming. It will be coming, but I wanted to say this. I ordered off of a website called Tackle Direct. I'm pretty sure you all heard of them. Mm -hmm. Do not order from them. They said that that reel would be here at the beginning of February. Then my stepmom gets a message saying, oh, it'll be here in May. <laughs> That's not going to fly with me. $300, and I have to wait till May to use it whenever all these other shops have FTU it. FTU has it. FTU sure. has it. That's not right. They have it right. stacked up on a wall that they're trying to get rid of them, and, you know, tap the right is still making people wait. Yeah. Till May. How's it going, Dylan? That's my brother, by the way, and he's just walking in. <laughs> How's it going? So, anyway, a couple of specs on the reels. These are pretty much the same, the laser and the Mach 1. Except this one's 7.1 to 1 gear ratio, this is 6.8 to 1. Mm -hmm. The Mach 1, both of them weigh 7.5 ounces, and they're both graphite reels. So, they're made out of graphite and both have magnetic brake systems, mm -hmm. um, which most reels kind of do. And uh, nothing else to say, I guess. Mach 1 looks good, though. Look at that. White and green and black? Mm -hmm. How's that not look good? It looks good. So, we're going to just do the last lens we have. 
And this is the team lose light. Here's the box right here. Um, this is seven point lose. That's seven point five to one year ratio. Five point seven ounces. It has a centrifugal braking system in it. These are uh, kind of EVA cork knobs. This reel is two hundred and forty dollars. You said the price on those, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Up and Just make sure we're saying the price here. This reel is two hundred forty dollars. It is. Very well worth it if you ask me. And you know, to say about it, Ronald? He hasn't really used it, but I haven't used it much. But after feeling this, and then feeling some of the 13 concepts that I felt, lose, <laughs> lose is the only way to go from now on. I'm just saying, not not bagging on 13, but I've used those lose in plenty in the past. Lose never fails though. They never fail me. I love lose. That's true. Just a few more specs off the box here. It has 11 bearings, and it is. Uh, one piece aluminum frame, like I said, and pretty much, I already said it really pretty much, double shield, stainless steel bearings. So, if you want this reel, I will recommend it. If you have the money, go get it. So, this reel, we're going to be doing a little bit of talking about. And um, yeah. a lot of people have been getting on the, uh, get your NOS, <laughs> by the way, guys. Right here, we love NOS. Mm -hmm. But, um, we got some stuff to say about these reels. There's a lot of people getting on the 13 fishing bandwagon and all power to them. Of course, we hopped on it because of all the hype. We decided to hop on it too. We did. And we're not saying they're bad reels, but the Concept C, which is what this is, 13 fishing Concept C, has a 7.3 to 1 gear ratio. It's $230. I don't, I don't see $230 in it. <laughs> we're just going to be 100% honest with you, maybe $150. Yeah. There's just... Yeah, I mean, they're good reels. This here, Here's the box right here, as a matter of fact. Concept C, right there. It's 6.2 ounces. You got the centrifugal braking system and uh, just a bunch of other stuff that you don't really need to know. I won't lie. They've got some goofy names for, like, their features, like a bulldog drag system. and That's one thing. 22 pounds of drag in this reel. That, yeah. That's a big plus on it. That's a lot of drag in Little low profile, bit, little, it? low profile bait cast. And then the side plates, like whenever they come off, it's called beetle wing. I've yeah. never heard of that. Like, yeah. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's easy to use. You just flip the switch down, pops out, and here's your braking system. I keep my brakes on usually two to three. He likes his on zero. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I usually keep my brakes about halfway on. Mm -hmm. I don't use brakes because brakes, they just slow you down. That's true. Never thought about that. But, so, like I said, we were going to be talking a little bit about this reel and I had a bad experience with the customer service from 13 Fishing. It took, I, I simply asked him, that's why I asked him, I said, what kind of grease, or not grease, what kind of oil do you recommend to use in this reel? And it took them two weeks to finally answer. I sent him an email, two emails, didn't get an answer back. I called him three times, never got an answer. Finally, I called him, and the dude in the service department named Reed had a little bit of attitude. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, I was not very happy with his concept of customer service. <laughs> See how they concept yeah. of customer service? And I mean, they're definitely going to lose <laughs> our, um, puns, huh? yeah, they're definitely <laughs> going to lose us because I'm, after I get that Texas, I'm not picking up another 13. I'm sticking with lose. The only way I'll get another 13 is if the price is If there's a crazy cheaper. deal. Yeah. Just, we're not knocking anybody that likes 13. No. A lot of guys on two pole fishing, a form that we're on a lot. These guys go nuts over these reels, but us personally, I don't see the big deal about it. Everybody was talking about it, so I went and got one, and I just there's nothing, there's nothing like like what you just said. There's not a big deal about them. It's just another reel. And one thing we'll say about them, they look cool. They look like they're <laughs> they more of a good. modernized reel. Like, they, they they look a lot more like I just I saw it, call it futuristic. Like they look newer. Rather than like an old fashioned style, of like silver, gold, or whatever reel. Especially the Texas. If you haven't seen the Texas, look it up. It's a, it's a clean reel. It's it's like turquoise kind of blue. Yeah. And it's nice. It's how much is it? It's $300. It was $300. But supposedly it's limited edition, but I've heard rumors saying that 13's version of a limited edition reel is like 20, 30,000 reels. So I don't know if that's true or not, but. I wanted to get it just because it's limited edition and it's 13, so. Yep. So, but, anything else to say about 13? I just thought I had something. something I was going to say, too. Um, we, I've only had this reel, little reel for about a month now, so I can't give you any input on how it holds up in salt water, but from what I've read, 
Um, if you went, I mean, we don't like Shimano, but we will say this. If, you're, if you put Shimano 13 and Luce together, the first one that would start having problems of using the salt water would be 13, from what I've read. I don't have any experience with mm -hmm. it. But from what I've read and I've heard from users of the 13, these are the first reels out of their arsenal to start giving issues using salt water. I don't know why. I mean, it's a salt water reel. That's what I was going to tell y'all, too. Is I know some of you guys, I don't know if y'all like taking your own reels apart and doing your own maintenance, that too. but this is one thing that I've actually heard about. There was a fisherman, I think it was John B. or A.P. Bassel. They dropped 13 as a sponsor because they're not... John B. Yeah, John, John B. B. He's there. not able to rip inside of those reels because 13, they have so many small parts inside of them to where you can't even almost lube it up on your own. I don't and think... It's, I wouldn't trust myself. We don't even, I told him, I was like, honestly, if something like starts making noise, don't even bother trying to rip in it. Send it to 13. And I've seen videos of guys taking them apart, and there's no way I could get it back together. But it, I like simple reels. Yeah. But we're going to stop talking about 13. Yeah. We've, we're just going to tell you, we're not knocking 13. They make good reels, mm -hmm. but they're too proud of them, if you, in our opinion. Yeah, I know. they're a little... I know probably 99% of you watching this video are like 13, 13, 13, which that's cool. If you like the reels, you like them. I mean, that's cool. But in our opinion, they're overhyped a little bit, yeah. just a little bit up on the price for what they're worth. But one more reel. I mean, this ain't nothing to really talk about. I'm going to let you do this one. Dalton, <laughs> this is all reliable. Mean, this is all reliable to him. I've had bad experiences with it. I think I've told you all that before. Which, I mean, it's a good reel to where, like, let's say if one of these went out. Or they all went out at one time. Just somehow that happened. It's a good backup plan because they're cheap. You can get them right now, I believe, like thirty-two or thirty-four dollars. But the normal price on them is how much? Sixty. Yeah, sixty, which is not bad because lifetime warranty. If look, let's say I just don't like how it feels, run it up to Academy and they'll they'll exchange it for a brand new one in the box. But it's an alright reel in my opinion. But as long as my bank account's a little up. You won't ever see me holding one of these. <laughs> if the bank account's a little low. If the bank account's on the downside, then you'll see plenty of these. You might see some H2O Express. And... So there's nothing There's nothing wrong with them. It's just, nah, it's just they're, they're just not a... We're not a big quality <laughs> one like Lou's and 13. Yeah. So one thing I did forget to mention about Lou's versus 13 is the customer service from Lou's. Y'all are good. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate the customer service. It's great. I don't, I called Lou's one time. You know, I said 13. I simply asked him what kind of oil he used. It took almost two weeks for me to get an answer. I called Lou's one time. What's the, his name was Garrett, Garrett in the service department. He told me more than I even asked for. I mean, me and him had a five minute conversation. And great guy, he told me, if you need any more help, give me a call. My name's Garrett. Mm -hmm. That's customer service I appreciate. The dude Reed at 13, I didn't, he didn't give me too good of an attitude, so I wasn't happy with him. But Lou's, they're, so to round it or round it up, sum it all up. <laughs> Lose. Another it's thing too is uh, Lose. I've talked to them before, and what they'll actually do, like let's say that one of these reels is having a problem, even on their cheapest reels, you're allowed to send it in. I think they the chi the shipping from here to there, I think it's like eight dollars. I think you can send it there, and they will literally have their service technicians for these reels, even the cheapest reels that they make. They'll take them apart, find out what's wrong with it, and then either they'll replace it for you and send it back to you, or I think they'll tell you how much it is to get replaced. But I think I had one reel that was a lose. It was the American Hero, and it had uh, something going on inside of it. I fixed it on my own, but it still doesn't work as good. I think they told me if they went and took it apart and found out what was wrong with it, I'd pay $8 in shipping, and they said they would fix like whatever broken part it is, I think, for like five or six bucks so I mean fifty dollar reel versus like spending $5 a five dollar part plus your eight dollar shipping what more can you ask for like they have these guys that are taking them apart even their cheapest reels I know Shimano they won't do that they'll say oh okay it broke sorry to say sorry to hear that go buy a new one they don't do that lose every reel that they put up they put out they put quality behind it it's really all I gotta say Good words. I appreciate it. Speaking of the American Hero Program, thank you, Luz, for yes. your American Hero Program. We highly, highly support anybody in the military, police officers, whatever. American Hero Program 
If y'all know what that is, go and explain it to him. It's just what it is is like every American hero rod or reel or rod and reel combo sold. I believe it's a uh, it's either a twenty five percent whatever they make off of that reel or rod or rod and reel combo, they give twenty five percent of that to veterans to get them outside and go fishing. I believe that's what it is. I might be mistaking it, but it's they give money to help out veterans. I believe it's taking them fishing and giving them rods and stuff like that, but that's the number one thing that I've never heard of any other real company do. And that's another reason I like Lose. I'm sorry if any of our viewers are liberal, but I'm just going to say, Lose is doing more for our veterans than Obama did in eight years. Yes. Just saying. Donald Trump. Anyway, yes. we're going to be kind of quick with the rods because we're more of a real, real kind of group. group. We like good reels. Over, I mean, we love good rods, but, you know, more about reels. Yeah. So go ahead. Did, did you, you already did the, the, I already did the whole thing. Okay, yeah, you already did the whole mop one and everything, so. And you did, yeah, you already I did the whole one. I knock okay. it out. Well, I just got to do my rods then. So, this is the Waterloo Phantom. We have six of these, six or seven. He has three. Three, I have, no, I guess five then. So, I have two. Waterloo Phantom, six, six, medium. That's a good corky rod. I like it. Top water and corky. So. Um, $109 for the Phantom. And once again, there's another Phantom from Waterloo. This is a medium light 6.6. .6. This is on my Concept C. Um, good rod. This $109 once again. Very sensitive. Very, very sensitive. I like it. And then, once again, another Waterloo. Here is the Waterloo Salinity on the Lewis Light. This is 6.6 .6 medium light. We we like medium light rods. Yeah. Because we plastic. We use, we use a lot of soft plastic. A lot of plastic. A lot of TTF lures too. TTF. Texas Tackle Factory, look them up if you haven't heard of them. That's one of the best soft plastics you can ever use. And Down South Lures, that's another good lure company. TTF and Down South Lures. Those are the only two that we'll throw in our boat, but we'll actually throw a lot more TTF because they give us a little bit more results. That is true. But Waterloo Salinity, we are big fans of mm -hmm. Waterloo Rods. I'd love to have a water filter made, but the bank account. It says no. It says no. You're not getting one. Yeah. But the Phantoms, perfect rods. Yeah. I mean, they're great. So. Applaud. So. I'm trying to think. Is there anything else to say? Oh, yeah. Another thing. Oh, oh hang on. Before you say that real quick. Rod and reel gloves. You, 